The holiday travel nightmare that kicked off this weekend now creeping into the middle of the week as airports in Seattle and Chicago deal with dangerous weather and New York, Denver and L.A. airports continue to see heavy delays. Yeah, I was supposed to have a flight out of here at 7.50 and they canceled it and um, I'm here for 12 hours. On Tuesday, over 1,100 U.S. flights were canceled with thousands more delayed. Delta Airlines saying employees are working, quote, around the clock to reroute and substitute aircraft and crews, setting winter weather and Omicron for the problems. So what can you do if you're one of the many travelers whose plans are being disrupted? If you're already at the airport, get online and get on the phone. You'll want to talk to an airline representative as quickly as possible. If your flight is canceled, you can get on a later flight, or if you decide not to travel, you're entitled to a full refund under federal law. A refund may also be available if the carrier significantly delays your flight. But amid the travel chaos, one story is more bizarre than any delay. It was a crazy experience. School teacher Marisa Fatia was on her way to Iceland when she tested positive for COVID-19 during her flight. I started having a severe sore throat and so I just took my rapid test and I brought it into the bathroom and within what felt like two seconds, there were two lines. A flight attendant assisted Marisa, who opted to stay isolated in a tiny airplane bathroom for the remainder of the flight, four hours. There's like 150 people on this flight. Um, and my biggest fear was giving it to them. And during Marisa's quarantine at an Iceland hotel, a Christmas gift from her cool headed flight attendant. And she brought me flowers and a little Christmas tree with lights so I could hang it. It was so heartfelt and she's just an angel. And there you have it, a nice story amid all this holiday travel chaos. And look, there is reason to believe that the airlines will catch up to this domestic crush. But still, already this morning, we're seeing more than 300 flights canceled for the U.S. And already we're expected to see that persist again through the new year. Kristen? Steve, you're right. What a remarkable story that that woman who tested positive mid-flight stayed in the bathroom. Thank you so much for bringing that to us. That can make her an interesting ride. For Absolutely. A lot of, a lot of hours. Tough ride for her. <laughs> Boy, four hours. Feet, right? Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.